Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you guys about, you know, if you have to pick a side in this war in the Middle East, which side do you pick, okay? Um, so here's the thing, why, why would you have to pick a side? Well, in, in real life what happens is if you've got two parties warring and you don't pick a side, right, what a lot of times happens is both of the side of those two sides consider you an enemy right because each one is suspicious that you're aiding the other side and what ends up happening is you end up making an enemy out of both sides and they both end up attacking you and now you got to defend yourself against both sides okay so uh strategically speaking a lot of times it makes sense to pick a side right pick a side uh so that you just so that you don't have to fight both of the other sides at least now you pick one side and you know, okay, fine, I got an ally and I know I got to fight that other guy here. You know, and maybe that other guy was right or wrong or whatever, but I got to pick a side so I don't end up fighting with both sides. You know, I don't, I don't want both of them against me. Let me side with one. All right, so anyway, that's, that's uh, I, I think that's a valid strategy, okay? That's a, I think that's a valid strategy. I think that, um, you know, a lot of places throughout history have had to make decisions uh, like this where they would have preferred to, to stay neutral, but had to pick a side so they didn't end up fighting both sides okay um so with this situation in the middle east okay how would you go about picking a side okay now you can't go by what the news is telling you because we all know that the news lies okay we can see that here in the united states we can see with our eyes what's actually happening and then we can see what the news is telling us and we can see we can see that hey the news is obviously lying okay uh, you know you can't trust governments any governments because first of all here in the united states again uh, government's telling us one thing we see with our eyes what's actually happening government's lying so it's fair to say that all governments around the world lie it's fair to say that they're all evil and corrupt okay uh that ideally the governments would just fight each other uh and destroy each other and not get innocent people involved that's Unfortunately, that's not the way it works. Uh, so, given that that both sides, both governments, are probably, you know, uh, bad to, to some extent, okay, how do you pick a side if you have to pick a side, right? So, this is how I think I would go about it. Again, not trusting anything that you hear in the news, not trusting anything that you're hearing from government. Uh, and, of course, this is theoretical, okay? Theoretically speaking, what I would do uh, is, I don't know, uh, let's say, go, to, you know, put them, you know, find a hundred, a hundred of the most extremist people on, on either side, okay? And, and I'm even going to include, because right now it seems like we got, like, we got a, a Jewish side, we got a, a Muslim side. I'm even going to include a Christian side, right? Let's assume that we have a Christian side that was active in, the, in, in, this, in this war, okay? And maybe there is, I, I don't know, but, you know, again, I am not there, but... Let's say you've got these three sides fighting, a, a Christian side, a Jewish side, and a, uh, a Muslim side, okay? How do, you, how do you decide who's the most righteous, okay? So well, let's go to the Christian side first, all right? So we'd go to the Christian side, right? And what we're going to tell them is, you know what? Your religion is total bullshit. Your God is false. You know, again, we're, we're playing a role here, right? It's a test, right? Even if you don't believe this, even if you don't believe what you're saying, you're testing them to see how they're going to react okay so you go to the christian side and you tell them that their religion is bullshit and their god is false um you know how do how how are they going to react okay um are they going to basically say that you know what? i don't want to talk with this guy you know he's crazy whatever and walk away from you um are they going to uh maybe talk to you right and try to convince you otherwise through logic reasoning whatever history you know whatever but basically they're going to try and talk to you uh are they going to make fun of you all right uh or they're going to scream there's vault and they try to kill you okay so if they try to kill you because you told them right if the christians try to kill you because you told them that their religion is bullshit that's probably a really bad side okay again i'm just saying this is all theoretical so now let's go to the jewish side right again fun with, and we're going we're not going like to the soccer moms we're going to the to the most extremist like religious radicals you know in all these groups okay so now we're going to go to the to the to the jewish side right we're going to find a hundred of the most like religious you know uh you know um fanatics that we can find a hundred of them and i say a hundred of them because you don't want to 
you know, we're kind of we're trying to kind of even this out, right? You don't want to, you know, you, you want you want a fair representation. So you're going to find a hundred of them. We, we're going to go to the Jewish side, and we're going to tell them the same thing, right? We're going to say, hey, your your religion is bullshit. Your god is false. A uh, bunch of BS. You know, you guys are, fo are basically worshiping the sun. See how they react. Again, what are they going to do? Are they going to laugh at us? Are they going to walk away from us? Are they going to try and reason with us? Are they going to scream, Shalom! And try to kill us? How are they going to react? If they try to kill us, that's probably a bad side that we don't, you know, you know, that we may not want to, you know, uh, associate ourselves with. Okay, so again, now, same test. We go to the, to the, to, to the Islamic side. Uh, again, and this is just a test, right, to see how they're going to react. So we tell them the same thing. Hey, you know what? Your religion is bullshit. Your God's false. How are they going to react? They're going to walk away from us. Again, and remember, we're going to the most radical people of each group, right? And we're, we're, we're sampling a, a group of 100 people to see how overall they would react. Okay? So again, so we go to the, to the Islamic side, and we tell them the same thing. Your religion is bullshit. Your God's false. You know, you, you know, you're worshiping a rock, whatever. You know, um, How are they going to react? Are they going to try and reason with us? Are they going to try and, uh, are they going to laugh at us? Are they going to try and educate us? All right. Uh, or are they going to say, ah, oh, come on, and, and try to kill us? Okay. So that is, uh, if I had to pick a side, and I don't, I don't have to pick a side, right? Um, if, I, if I had to pick a side, that is probably the approach that I would take to decide which is the most righteous side, you know, in the vacuum of not looking at the news, because I know that the news is false, in the vacuum of not listening to anything that any government says, because I know that all governments everywhere are corrupt. Um, you know, that's how I would judge the actual people, right? Um, you, know, you know, this is like a window into their hearts. Um, you know, insult the thing that is the most valuable to them, that they, that they, that they think is the most important thing, that the world revolves on. Insult that thing. And see how they react. Okay, uh, you know that's how it goes. Now, again, I'm not over there. I really am not really that interested in what's going on over there. Uh, but it, it's in the news. People in my uh, in my news in my you know in the comments and different social media platforms that I have have brought the subject up for discussion. And I'm just posing a uh, um, I, I think a rational way of going about picking a side. Okay. Uh, now, as far as I'm concerned. I have one enemy, the Democrat Party. Okay, that's my one and only enemy. They're the ones that that tax me, that try to take things away from me, that try to restrict my, my my rights. Okay, that is my one and only enemy. Okay, they're the ones that have the open borders, that are trying to recreate what's happening in the Middle East, here in the United States, right? By having these open borders, having people come in, uh, and who knows who they are, what they want. Uh, at the very least, they're 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 eating up resources okay so so if somebody basically you know comes into your house even if it's without the intention of actually hurting you if they're coming into your house with the intention of raiding your refrigerator right and taking everything eating everything that's in your refrigerator you know they're using up your resources unfairly right um so that's a good reason why you want to you know have you know lock your door to keep these people out so that they don't eat up your resources so it doesn't make a difference if they're gonna you know what their intentions are you know you know they're coming in to take a share of what's yours and you know i don't want to share okay let me call me selfish but that's it i don't want to share okay uh i or if i'm going to share i want to pick and choose who i'm going to share with if i'm going to share okay um yeah, so Anyway, some thoughts for you guys to, to consider and ponder and, and discuss amongst yourselves. But I, I thought that this was uh, an interesting to a topic to, to contemplate. So let me know what you guys think in the, con in the comments below. I'll talk to you all soon.